pronounced chrono like color. Yeah, chrono. Uh, chrono circles is how it's pronounced, but it's spelled X R O N O circles. Okay, great. And you can reference chronocircle.com as the way to uh, you know learn more about it. <laughs> It's, uh, it's Barnaby, uh, Barnaby Anderson for another episode of Crypto 10X. And today we're excited to have uh, Mark Moglin with us from Chronocircle. And he's got a very interesting al algorithmically generated NFT platform or project. I, I actually don't know much about it. I'm really excited to hear because we're all about diving deeply into NFTs. And obviously Mark is at that forefront as well of basically pushing this whole area in, in a new direction. So Mark, over to you, tell us what is it you're doing and what's got you so juiced about this, this NFT industry? Well, thanks so much for having me on. Really excited to talk about, you know, what's going on with music NFTs and what I'm focusing on at the moment, which is uh, a project that I've launched with two leading music technology researchers. Uh, the project is called Chrono Circles, it's spelled with an X. So that's X-R-O-N-O circles.com. Uh, you can check it out there. And these are really stunning uh, audiovisual pieces at the intersection of algorithmic composition and human composition. And they result in these circles, these, these, a dot that travels around a circle activating different polygons. The way those polygons are arranged are based on one of three different algorithms, one of which was discovered by uh, one of the team members. And uh, these activate sounds. It's, it's a really entrancing uh, audiovisual experience that we are releasing as NFTs. So it sounds like it's creating a, a visual display from the sound. That's actually literally what you've, you've been able to create here is a visual representation of the sound, right? That is correct. It's a one-to-one -one, uh, visual representation. So it's not like just like a really flowery, whimsical representation. It's actually showing exactly as the sounds are being activated and the rhythmic organization uh, in which they're being activated. Uh, these were developed by literally leading uh, music technology researchers, um, you know, these guys have written books on the subject. Uh, Bill's a longtime professor of electrical engineering in Wisconsin, uh, written several groundbreaking books on music technology, music perception. Uh, Andy is a researcher in Western Sydney University, recently gave the keynote address at the International Music Perception uh, Conference. Uh, these are really uh, preeminent researchers, and they were able to use their software and, 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 and and develop an interesting composition paths and, and churning out these uh, these pieces. And we have different phases in our roadmap. Uh, we were just, uh, our initial drop was selected by Known Origin, the Ethereum-based marketplace to be the featured drop on the 23rd of December. That was really exciting, got some initial attention. We'll be continuing to do those pieces on Known Origin. We just signed a, uh, a deal with Whale Room for NFT permission uh, chat room access. So if you own one of these, you'll get uh, private chat room access via Whale Room. Uh, that's in the works right now. And we have a phase two, which is a fully algorithmic launch. So these will be many, um, thousands of these will be minted, fully algorithmically generated. And we're hoping uh, to really create a splash in 2022 with that. Wow. It, it sounds a little bit to me like uh, when, I've, when I've seen those, uh, like a drum with sand on it and the sound is played and the sand actually creates a, uh, a, like a symbolic, basically it has movement and visual from the sound being generated. Have you seen that kind of thing before? Yeah, yeah. Uh, cymatics, I believe they're That's referred it. to. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I am familiar with that phenomenon. Uh, super interesting. Um, that's really about capturing like a single sound, if you will, and, 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 and capturing the harmonic components of that uh, particular timbre um, in a visual representation, a very powerful uh, visual representation. These are really creating unique music pieces. So, you know, they're two or three minutes. They're really enjoyable pieces. Each one is completely unique. Uh, because it's very much human composed as well as algorithmically uh, defined. Uh, so they're really enjoyable pieces. And if you want to check them out, check over the website, click the explore page, see our initial drop on known origin, and you can watch the whole video. Um, and we'll be doing a lot more of these. What is it that has you be just particularly excited about this new, essentially kind of like art form, where you're generating a visual display, uh, this beautiful image 
Is that what's exciting you? That, that that's it's just the the innovation around that itself. Well, exactly. Yeah, because I I mean, there's a lot of projects that we've all seen out there that uh, some are getting traction, some not so much. But you know, it's all about you know these whimsical images, these comical images, and and you know, board, board apes is kind of the prototypical example of that. And you know, you buy in, it's potentially a great market. You get some added value, some utility, like a private uh, chat room or a private space to commiserate with. That's all great, but at the end of the day, it's a drawing of, a, of an ape with a cigar or what, what have you, right? I mean, the, 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 our crypto punks at the end of the day are 8-bit images of, you know, punks, right? I mean, so what? So we asked the question, how can we make the most compelling audiovisual project using psychoacoustics research, using music technology, using, um, you know, des designing the visuals and everything? And that's how we came up with uh, this particular project. Um, now, so we we will be using some of those same strategies, you know, that you see with board apes and so on to create added uh, utility and community. But we think the core technology that's defining these are is really exciting, really fun to watch, and uh, we have amazing partnerships in the works for 2022. So, uh, really encouraging all your audience to get involved. Uh, one way we that we could use some support is in community development. Uh, so if, you know, if anyone out there is really excited about building a community around an exciting new, uh, NFT art project, you know, I'd love to talk to you and, and see where, how we could work together. Right. So, cause we're looking at, this is the site here, isn't it? This is the one that we're, we're looking at. And yes. so is this the, is this the representation? This is the display, like the, um, the polygon. So we've click, got... click on the explore page at the top. Yes. Oh, there we are. Yep. Uh, and you'll see four uh, video examples. These are short clips, but they're audio visuals. So, you know, make sure you listen on good headphones or good speakers to really experience it. But when you click on one of those videos, you will, um, you know, see an, an example of what we're talking about. See you end here. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. So it's definitely something to experience. It's difficult to put it all into words. It's really, but I think once you watch a few of them, you start to get an idea of what we're trying to achieve. We also go into some detail on the in-depth section. If you want to read about the algorithms and read about, um, you know, the theory behind it. Uh, but uh, so, so, you know, so that, that's that. <laughs> Let's listen to one we, like based there. Are they all sort of similar or a little bit different to that? Is it like maybe this purple one? Let's have a, yeah, they're all very different. They're all very, very different. Wow. Okay. So yeah. just to yeah. just to confirm, like, so that composition, the actual audio that we're listening to, that music, somebody somebody made that. This is this all computer generated, or is the, the is the imagery just what's being generated, or is the the whole thing being generated yeah. by algorithmically? Yeah. So so these pieces are at the intersection of human composition and algorithmic definition. So there is, you know, Bill and Andy who developed this uh, are also composing the, the kinds of sounds that are used, the pitches that are used. Uh, it's the software and the algorithms that are defining how those polygons are distributed around the circle. Uh, so they're either maximally even, uh, perfectly balanced or well-formed, which are based on principles of psychoacoustics in rhythm perception literature. So that's, that's how those are produced. So there is, that's why they all sound so different is that there's a lot of human composition involved as well to make them sound compelling and interesting and different. So we had three um, 
uh, rarity levels in these first launches, which you can see there. Thank you very much. Yeah, it, we have the gold, silver, and uh, gem varieties uh, corresponding with how many we minted of each. Um, and uh, but I think what, what's really exciting is on our phase two, as we look at launching, you know, many thousands of these, we can really dive deep into rarity. You know, we can look at, you know, the prevalence of a certain color, of a certain kind of timbre, of a certain kind of pitch. And so the collector can really know this is the exact probability that this, this particular chrono circle would emerge and, and it will really add value to when they want to trade it. Uh, and those will be fully uh, computer generated. So those will have no human intervention. It's a, so we're really uh, excited about that phase coming up. How many, were minted in, how many were minted in the first, first issuance, the first phase? What was the number that were minted? We had 100, a 10, and 1, respectively, going from gem, silver to gold. Okay, so there's only 111 altogether so far that have been made. That's, that's correct. And then, yeah. and then sometime in the next couple of months, there'll be, there'll be the thousands that are generated. And people will be able to find all of that information here at Chrono Circle. That's right. That's right. Um, and again, we, we, know, we, need a, we need to do community development here. So um, that's where we need to start to build a discord and build a, build a movement and, and get people excited about this. So basically follow um, you guys on Twitter as well. That's where they can go. They can come to the website to get the, find the details of the drop when that's happening. Yep, follow on Twitter, on Instagram. Um, you know, we have a, a way you can subscribe to our newsletter as well, um, right there on the bottom of that page at chronocircle.com. Yep. Um, get in touch with me directly. I'm happy to fill you in or have a call with you if you think it's interesting. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're gonna, we're looking at ways to build an exciting utility to this so that buying a phase one, you know, one of these interesting pieces at the intersection of human and computer algorithmic generation, will give you a leg up in phase two. So if it is something you're looking at, I, I encourage you to go to Known Origin where they're available um, at this moment and, and you know, consider buying one if they look exciting. We will, we will reward those early purchasers in lots of interesting ways. We just haven't uh, revealed all of that um, yet. It sounds like there's a, it's a fertile ground for development and that there's a lot more that you're wanting to bring to this. And it's basically just, this is the germ of the whole, uh, the launch of this of this new art form essentially that's what you're excited about that's, that's exactly doing. right that's exactly right barnaby we're we're partnering with uh, another major algorithmic audio visual project that wants to use our algorithms in their project i can't really announce that because we're still in talks but we're very far along in those talks um you know we've been approached by artists that say hey can i can i create one of these can i use my sounds and and we're definitely looking at that possibility as well. It, it, experimentally, it can be done. We did do a couple experiments to see if we could use just any other kind of electronic music piece and turn it into a chrono circle. And we, we certainly can achieve that. So um, I think the sky's the limit on this. It's a really exciting foundation, um, you know, with these, with this based on psychoacoustic research and, and uh, it's really about where we want to take it. So I'm happy to, you know, continue well, we certainly... the community. Given that uh, myself and Noble with our, our band royalty and our band NFTs platform, we're launching a music NFT marketplace that's coming out very soon. So that would be a great place to um, for these to be dropped. That's another opportunity because basically we're looking for those NFTs that are innovative and music related. So it'd be it's great to well, that'd be great. But we yeah. could definitely talk about that. I mean, these there will be um, how do you, how are you looking at the visual component of of uh, of, of music on your of an on your platform? Well, basically, we just we're wanting to work with musicians. There'll obviously need to be some visual component for their NFT and the audio component as well. And so, bringing those two together typically would be like an MP4 file. So, yours is a very interesting project because it's uh, it's so innovative and so um, everything with NFTs is unusual. So, this is another unusual, but it, it is noteworthy because of the the way that you're you're generating these and exploring this new kind of. Uh, art form so we'd love to discuss more with you because we'll be bringing that we'll be doing a big launch with our nft platform it'll be one of the world's first music focused nft marketplaces and we'll be wanting to find some top nfts to be to do press releases about essentially to let everybody know so it'd be fun to absolutely talk. yeah let's keep the conversation going on that uh happy to form new partnerships if we think they're mutually you know beneficial and that certainly sounds exciting i know i know what you guys are doing at band royalty is really exciting on the uh on the on the rights uh you know ownership of rights so i think that's yeah um, yeah we should definitely continue that conversation 
Fantastic. Well, thanks so much for coming on the show today, Mark. And it's been uh, just very fascinating to explore this new form of, uh, of art in NFTs. I don't think anybody will have seen anything quite like this. So it's great that you've, uh, you've shown everybody today. Thank you so much. Well, Mark. thank you so much for the invitation. And again, anyone who's curious about it or looking at a partnership, uh, feel free to get in touch. Happy to converse. And check out the and uh, see you next time on the show. Thanks, Mark. Have a great day. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh,